Hi everybody, Angie here. Coming on to do a fun um, collage with you guys today. We are, or should I say I am, participating in um, a monthly collage hosted by Julie at Art and Junk Journals with Julie and Lee from Lee's Art Studio. And we are on the month of August. And it's, if you want to follow along, it's hashtag 2022 collage challenge AUG, just the first three letters for the month. And they're changing it up for this last um, portion of the challenge where they're just giving us a theme and letting us go with it and do whatever we want. So for August, it is a sewing theme. Um, we can use all or as many sewing items or pieces that we choose and then to finish off our collage, we're supposed to count the amount of pieces that we've used, whether it be six or 22, and then add that number into your collage. So this should be very fun. I have a whole lot of, I really dug and tried to pull out everything I could think of that might kind of go along with this particular collage and see what we could come up with. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I have just a whole bunch of little things here. I've got a little, um, slow stitch piece that I did. I don't know if I'll be able to use that. I have some little, and it's funny thing because as I was gathering pieces, I didn't realize that I was gravitating towards blue. But once I was um, sorting through some of the pieces, I realized just how many blue pieces I have. So not only is my theme going to be sewing, but I'm going to try and court, um, incorporate like a blue um, color scheme along with my collage today. So I have a little blue paper flower. I've um, wound some um, crochet thread on a little plastic uh, thimble or whatever you call these uh, little plastic things here. So maybe I could use that. I've got a nice big vintage button and I tied um, some blue crocheted trim to that. I've got a whole bunch of little just bits and pieces. I've got just a little trim here. I've got some lace. I've got crochet trim. I've got a little piece of decorative trim. I don't know what I'm gonna use. I just grabbed a few pieces of everything. I have this really pretty, um, <clears throat> excuse me, digital. It says, welcome to my woman's cave, also known as the sewing room. So I thought that would be a perfect opportunity to use that. I have a piece of old vintage sewing pattern. I have this digital of a dress form that I cut out. Then I have some other just scrap papers, um, a digital of this one here, a piece of music sheet, a piece of book page. I've got a paper doily and then more blue. I've got some blue bling and a DIY um, sewn blue um, envelope that I made and it's lined with uh, a napkin and then I stitched around and just closed it up. Thought maybe I can incorporate that in there. And then for my numbers, once I count all my bits and pieces, I have some uh, stickers here. And then inside here, I have just a whole bunch of little bits and pieces just to tie up and fill in the page. I have some DIY um, paper um, book page ruffle. I've got a couple of those. I've got a little middle finding, a little buckle. I've got some little paper buttons. I don't know if I could use any of those. Some little digitals from this particular digital. I printed up two of them and then I just cut out the little elements that maybe I could use those around the page somewhere. I've got a die cut of um, some scissors and it's die cut on um, some faux rice paper. And then again, some more blue elements. I've got fussy cut this blue vintage sewing machine out. What else? Some tickets. I've got some thimbles in here. Um, some postage stamps, a couple little tags. So just a whole bunch of little bits and pieces. So we're going to see what I can come up with, see how many of these pieces that I can use, and we're going to get this baby done. Okay. Now I have this brown piece. I thought that was really pretty, kind of um, add to the vintage look of it. This is going to be my base. And as you can see, I didn't even bother cutting off the um, little salvage piece off of my paper pad. It's eight and a half by 11 and it's good weight. So we're gonna use this. Now I just gotta decide which way I wanna do it, landscape or portrait. And my biggest piece I think is the dress form. I 
I think this way. We're going to go with this way. Okay, so let's see what we can come up with. So it just says, let me just re-double check, use as many items as you can find. Um, bonus, for a bonus you count how many different items and add that number to your collage. Um, okay, yep, that's it then. So let's see what we can come up with. I can move that out of the way, push that aside. And these are all my top elements. So then I just brought in these pieces to kind of use as, put down as the base and we'll go from there. So, I don't know. like the little the pattern lines and the little scissors so I'm gonna see if I can keep that in there let's see maybe and these colors are kind of close um, for the pages so I'm gonna separate those maybe put one on one side and another one on the other side I don't know let's see all right, I may not talk too much because I'm really, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, just kind of think as I go. So if I get quiet, it's just me trying to process things, okay? I think I'm gonna start with this down here and that will kind of a little bit cover up some of that um, salvage line. Okay. kind of was excited when I saw the prompts on this I was um I was really surprised that they changed things up but I love a challenge and I've really had a lot of fun with this particular um, open collaboration that they have been doing so I was definitely down for it let's go ahead and put a piece I think most of this is probably because I've got a lot of pieces here I think most of this is going to get covered up but as long as we can see a little bit here and there tucking out it will count as a prompt so so far I've got one because this is the sewing pattern okay tear off some of that and this is just a vintage book page from a reader's digest I just love the aged color it's just beautiful this other piece over here waste not want not okay Okay, 
but we gotta fill in those couple spots. So let's grab a, another piece here. right here. Okay, and we think we've got our base down for the most part. I'm going to put this right there. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and pencil here, and we're gonna keep track as we go. Okay, I've got book page, I've got music sheet page, I've got sewing pattern, and I've got a digital for my base. So that's four so far. Okay, so that's four down. This was the only paper doily I had was a heart. But I think we could get away with using a bit of it. Let's put a piece of it right there. Let me pull all these little bits out and see what we've got. I like those scissors, so definitely want to use those. And I want to use the sewing machine. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Use the thread somewhere that's blue. We'll use the flower that's blue. And my thought was using this little um, faux uh, envelope and sticking some little goodies in there is what I was thinking. Got a couple. And these are just from these tickets and such are just from a dye sewing themed um, set that I had. So I did some cutting those out. And that's blue. I definitely want to get that in there somewhere. Okay. Um, and I want to get some just crocheted trim in. Like that there. I think I'll cut it and put another piece down somewhere else as well. So let's start there. Pieces that I know for sure, the smaller bits we can work in wherever. Um, I kind of think that it will, we could fill the page in. Let's start there. or something. Let's 
okay and then maybe a piece over here or something so that'll be one we'll wait till so that's one for sure let's see all right um i think this will show up more against this white hmm. Kind of gets lost a little bit. That looks okay on there. Let's see. I've got a lot of elements. I think it's kind of overwhelming me at the moment as to what I should. Oh, I like that. Pardon me. I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to put this one down. Okay, I like that. So kind of tuck that in a little bit right there. I don't know, that doily is kind of throwing me off. Let me move that for a moment. thimbles here and I got, got three in three different colored papers maybe we could just use all three of them it'll just count as one item but maybe just use all three of those um, let's see if I can put this buckle on something It's not too bad. measuring tapes. So we can just stick those out. We could just put this right over this one. I like that idea. I'm going to ink around this to make it stand out and we'll get a little dimension going here and this color is brush corduroy 
Yes, brush corduroy. Yeah, I like that. I think I have some tape here. Let me look. Maybe I don't. But I have some. Maybe we can get a little dimension going if I roll this up a bit. Where'd it go? And just stick that right on there. And we'll offset that just a little bit so you can see that it's. Um, raised, a raised piece. I think that will help. Just for something a little different. Turn that little piece off. Pardon my head. I'll try and stick this on. Right there. Yeah. I like that look. Okay. Uh, what's next? I think I like that there. What else do I have? Tuck that under just a smidge. And I want to balance my blue. So, all right, let's put this down. I definitely want this on there. Okay, we'll put this down. Okay, let's stop there and do a count. Let's see, we've counted the base papers. So we've got a piece of lace trim. We've got some crochet trim. We've got the digital element of the woman's cave and a buckle. Okay, so that's four more items. So we're at eight so far. Okay, I didn't count this yet. I'll count all those as one once I figure out where I'm gonna put them. Because they're all from the same digital. So once I figure out where I put those down, I will count that as one piece. Okay, so the dress form, I think it's best to kind of center right there. Um, I'm thinking tuck these behind something like that. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But I won't put it down yet. Okay. Um, what else do we have? I used a lot of trim and crochet trim, so I may not need that. I think that might be overkill if I use those. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. Um, I'll put that right there. 
you know, maybe I'll put this right here. Tilt it off to the side. Or do I need that? I don't know. My brain says I do, but maybe I don't. thimbles back down here and I also have this little from the same die kit this little brooch here maybe we can use that I don't know where the inside piece is though we've got some paper buttons those down here can they be seen some more oh here she is right here Maybe put her on there. These papers kind of clash a little bit though, don't they? Okay, let's see. We've got the flower. Maybe do something like that. I've got this string. I can tie a little something on these paper buttons to help them stand out a little bit. Maybe ink around the outside of them. Be careful so I don't tear them. <laughs> I'm not gonna try and do them in a bow. That's too much. Too much work. So there's one. I'm gonna take a piece of blue. I feel like we need a little more blue. Cut those off. And I'll do this one in the white. Or off-white, should I say. Okay, I think that goes there. Um, I like those thimbles. I'm going to put those thimbles down.
Okay, and I like the scissors. I think I'll just put those scissors down in this bottom corner here as well. Okay, so we've got the paper buttons, we've got the thimbles, and we've got the scissors. So that's three more. So we're at 11 items so far. Okay, so let's put these down. Okay. Oh, I said I was going to ink those, didn't I? Let me pull it up real quick. It's not quite dry yet. I think I'll make it. Okay. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit for them to stand out on that lace. Okay. So next, let's see what I've got here. I've got my sewing machine, vintage sewing machine. I definitely want to get this in there somewhere. I guess if that envelope was just a little smaller, I just think the size, I like the idea of it and tuck some goodies in there, but I just think the, env the envelope is too big. So I think we're gonna go without that. Okay, um, then I've got this big vintage button. Might be able to tie a bow in there. Maybe give it a try. I don't think I'm going to get it. Oh, she's upside down though. It's kind of big and bulky, isn't it? So is that though. Okay, I'm going to put the postage stamp down and ink it. under just a little bit and I think I like this up here in this corner Maybe I could put one of these right in the middle. That's a good idea. Let's do that.
Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yep. Okay. And then we're gonna stick this down somehow. Let's see. I guess it's just some art glitter glue on the back, huh? Let's see if it'll hold. I'm sure it will once it dries. I'll give it a chance to grab hold. I think we'll be all right. Okay, we're kind of starting to fill up. Starting to fill up. Um, I don't want that right there. Put these little measuring tape bits down. Look around those. Okay. Maybe there's three of them. Something like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Put this one up here, fill in that space, find him a home. Okay, so we've got the tape measure, we've got the flower, we've got the circle element, and the B, um, flat back pearls. So that's four more items. So we are at 15, wow. Okay, and I'm gonna probably put some more pearls, but I'm only counting it as one. And I'm counting all these bits as one. Oh, and I didn't count the little thread. Okay, we'll put that on the next one. Okay, so let's now get this down, I think. And Okay. Um, I th we should have printed this in a different color paper. I think that would have been a nice element to add. Okay, let's put some more pearls on here. So we've got the dress form. We haven't counted the dress form yet, so that's one more. So we're at 16. And we've already counted the flat back pearls. I'm going to put some more of those somewhere. Maybe one on each um, button. That might be nice. Pretty sticky. Okay. I like that, I think. Let me see. Okay, 
So we need to get our sewing machine down now. Let's put that. And this is just a digital, I think I found this on Pinterest. Okay, so the sewing machine is one more item. So we're up to 17. Okay. I feel like we still need something right in here. Hmm. We want to put her right there? No. Do we want to put any of these tickets? Bring a little different color in. behind the dress no okay so we won't use those um, I've got this little blue tag I would like to use that Let me ink it up so give me a chance to think for a minute. Guess I can just stick it like right there somewhere. Too wide. Let me trim that down a little bit more. Okay. Now we've already counted this lace, so I don't need to count that again. But we will count the tag. And I think I want to do the same thing and raise it a little bit. So I'm going to use a little bit of tape. To get a little bit of dimension. I like that. So one more item for the tag. So we're up to 18. Um, let's see. I feel like it needs something up here, though. But I'm out of pieces. <laughs> let's see. Well, I think that's about it. That's all I've got to use. So, let's see. And that's too big, I think, to put anywhere. I think the envelope's definitely too big. I should have brought in some of this paper doily, though. The bit right there maybe would have been good. It's too late now. If I could tuck a little bit back here without destroying my 
piece here and I'm not going to be able to do it. That probably would have looked nice under there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call that done, guys. And um, what I can do, I just thought about that also. Let's see, it's hashtag 2022. I'm going to grab a pen and I'm just going to write that right on the tag. Oh, we need to add our numbers. I'm going to run through the items real quick first. We used sewing paper, we used book page, we used piano page, and we used a sewing digital. So that's one. No, that's four. Then we used this element here. That's five. We used lace, six, crochet trim, seven, thimbles, eight, uh, measuring tapes all throughout. That's nine. This piece here, 10, stamp, 11, tag, 12, dress form, 13, buckle, 14, scissors, 15, sewing machine, 16, flower, 17, round element, 18, and the flat back pearls is 19. Did I count that right? I think so. So my number is 19, and I got some blue numbers here, so let's throw 19 on there. Oh, and 19 can go right in that blank spot right there, so that works out really well. Do I not have a blue nine? Oh, we gotta use the six upside down, okay. That's it. Is that straight? Okay. And then I can do, I was thinking just write the hashtag right on my tag here. Hashtag 2022, if I can get it all in one line, collage challenge. And I'm going to bring August down. It's all together, but it's A-U-G. Okay, I can't get it all in one. All right. So what do you think? It's definitely sewing. You can definitely tell what theme it is. I love the blue color on there. I like the hint of other colors like the rice paper and the um, thimble. I think that adds a little something to it as well as the buckle. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, guys, I'm gonna call that a wrap. So this is my um, collage for the month of August hosted by Julie and Lee. I will leave their links in the description box below. If you want to see what everybody else is participating in this month, use hashtag 2022 collage challenge August. This was a lot of fun. I think I like how it finished up. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and until the next video guys, thank you so much. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.